Hi, I'm Michael from AES, and in this video we'll be covering the initial programming of the Prime 7 GSM intercom using the AES Pro app. Once you have the intercom installed and ready to program, you simply open the AES Pro app and add the Prime 7 intercom to your site, then follow these simple steps. If you've never used the Pro app, then watch the video in the top right hand corner now. So you choose your site, add an intercom, choose Prime 7, and here we have device configuration. The Prime 7 can be configured in a few different variations, from a wooden button system to a four button system. During the initial setup, the app will program the first button. The other three buttons can be done from the main menu later on. Next, we want to know does the device have a keypad or not, and whether the system has an integrated prox reader. Once you have chosen how your unit is configured, you tap on next and enter the device's phone number here. Now that the unit's phone number is stored, you have the option to change the passcodes for the device. We recommend that you do this to add a further layer of security to your intercom. You can tap on the I symbol here in the top right hand corner of the screen for further information. Next, the app will allow you to check APN and network mode. This will send an SMS to the unit which will send you back a text message with the signal status, APN status and network mode the unit is working on. For this to work, the unit must be powered on and have the SIM installed in the device. Now we can program the dial-out numbers. These are the phone numbers the device will call when a visitor presses the call button on the intercom. The unit has a rollover feature, so if the first number does not answer, the unit will then try the next number and so on. These dial-out numbers are for call button 1 and the rest of the call buttons can be programmed later. Next we can add caller ID numbers. This is storing these phone numbers in the unit's memory so that if it receives a phone call from one of these numbers, it will open the entrance. Now we can add some initial keypad codes. These codes allow anyone access and are permanent 24-7 codes. We can add in temporary and time restricted codes later. You can program five keypad codes at a time and program more codes from the main menu. The next option allows you to program in prox card IDs. You simply enter the card holder's name, the card number, which relay, if more than one, and relay activation time. Now all you have to do is tap on finish at the bottom. To program details for call button 2, you can click on the programming from the main menu, then dial out numbers, and dial out numbers again. At the top of here you can see the option to program buttons 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are your 4 buttons on the unit. They are numbered in such a way as to keep in line with programming processes and avoid any potential confusion if technical support is ever needed. Therefore, button 2 has already been programmed during the initial setup that we have just gone through and is physically the top button on the unit. That is the basics of programming a Prime 7 multi-button unit. As ever, if there are any questions, just post them in the comments below and someone will answer you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.